today I'm reviewing In Between by Jenny B. Jones. Hi guys, today we're taking a look at In Between by Jenny B. Jones, which is this one right here. This is a YA, it's actually a uh, Christian fiction, which I wasn't aware of when I picked it up, but um, still, it was a good read. Um, I gave this one a three star. In this one, this is the first book in the Katie Parker, Parker Productions series by the author. Um, and in this one, we have Katie Parker, who is our protagonist. She's uh, a 16 year old girl who has been in foster care system she gets adopted um, into the family with Millie and James James is a pastor, uh, pa pastor um, at the local church and uh, so there is a strong church religious theme in this um, it wasn't preachy which I appreciated um, it was, however, very much um, in your face, shall we say, through the book. Um, which, for me personally, um, at times, I was like, okay, enough already, I get the point. But, um, it, like I said, it wasn't preachy with it. So, um, the book was enjoyable anyway for me um despite that um but then there are people who like that aspect so if you do like christian fiction then that would actually be a plus point i think in this book for you um if you particularly enjoy that genre now uh like i said in this we have katie parker who um goes into um from the care home that she was in the foster home that she was in she goes to live with uh, Millie and James and at the beginning she's convinced that she's not going to be good enough and they will end up sending her back so she does some stuff um, trying to play the role um, being a bit of a rebel and, and stuff like that she tries dressing like in, as a goth and, and things just to try and quicken up the process um, if you like and then she realizes that um, actually she quite likes uh, this new family that she's got and school and things and so then she goes like on a mission to be basically the best foster kid ever um, and try and make up for it um, the, mm, let's see as a general I it was quite an amusing read at times i liked it you definitely get a lot of like the teenage angst comes through um so the fact that she is a 16 year old in it and all the emotions that that brings with it uh in its various different extremes um they were it was written in quite well that and there were there were some parts that were quite funny um i love Maxine, the uh, foster grandmother, um, got a very clear idea of who she is as a person in it, and um, so that was quite amusing. And Sam as well. Um, in it, you, the the characters, you got a, a clear idea of who they were. Um, I was a little, I felt something was missing when it came to Amy. Um, well, if you read the book, then <laughs> you know a bit more about what's going on. I don't want to give spoilers away and things, but Amy, I felt um, maybe needed a bit more information on her um, and the relationships and things that there is. Um, there was a bit of grey area there um, as well, and I think that could have been added to, which would have made the book a better read. Essentially. Um, but as a general, 
I flew through this book. Um, it was easy reading for the most part. So um, yeah, if this sounds like something that you might want to try, um, I do recommend giving it a try. Um, so there you go, that's In Between by Jenny B. Jones. Like I said, this is the first book in the series, so there are other books coming along. I'm not sure if um, I will read the other books in the series. I would be willing to give um, the second book in the series a try just to see um, what else happens with the characters and things. Because like it's an enjoyable and a quick read as well. Um, but I don't know. It's one of those I don't know ones. So um, anyway, that's it for today. Um, I did see that on the reviews that this one has got on uh, Goodreads, a lot of people did mention in the reviews, um, particularly the like one star, two star reviews that I saw for this one, um, they were very much up in arms over the fact that they weren't aware that it was Christian fiction when they picked it up. Um, which I have said, like I said, I. I didn't know that was um, a strong theme of the book uh, also. Um, the review is maybe a little exaggerated uh, as far as that's concerned in my own opinion but um, like I said it's one of the things if you're not expecting it then uh, maybe a bit too much because it was a little bit annoying at times but not pretty. Um, but then I, uh, I've also seen a lot of good reviews for this as well. I've seen four star reviews and things uh, come up for it. So um, I think this is one of those ones that there will there'll probably be elements that you like about it and elements that maybe you feel could have been done better or I think, I think what they need to do is make it um, in the book description, make it clear the fact of the fact that it is Christian fiction and that would I think cut at least you know the bad reviews would would be halved if they did that so um something to think about um has this ever happened to you before with a book you've gone into it thinking that it's a certain type of book and then when you're reading it you discover that actually probably falls into a different genre um and would that be a um big factor for you also when reviewing when it comes to your star review for me personally it's not the fact that um it wasn't written on there it's not a problem for me i've read a lot of christian fiction before and things and sometimes it can actually add to the book i'm not ag against it in any way um, i don't like when it's preachy um, so if it's done right and it adds to the story, the same as any other kind of thing <laughs> in a book. If it adds to the story and makes it better, then, you know, it's all good. Um, if it tends to be a bit too in your face and a bit too pushed and things, then it can be a turn off for me. Um, but you know, it's not a deal breaker. Having read some of the reviews on Goodreads, apparently it is a deal breaker for a lot of people and has a huge effect on the review rating that they give. Um, so I would like to know your opinions on this as well. How important is it for you as a reader to be very clear about the various different cross genres and things that a book goes to? Because obviously when an author is setting up their book on Amazon and things, it's, they can't pick... Um, you know, a, a hundred different genres, not that a book would have a hundred genres, but you know what I mean, that it's very limited. I think you, you get two or three that you can put it into as a category. Um, and so maybe your book crosses over into lots of different ones and as an author or a publisher, when you're doing it, you obviously want to go for the categories where your book will probably rate highest. So there's the technical aspects of publishing come into play and things so you wouldn't necessarily pick that I mean this book will go under you know your YA teen books for sure doing it um, and that maybe 
there wasn't space to add it into the Christian fiction as well. I haven't checked back to see if it has been added in um, as a subgenre or anything on it, but um, you know, when that is the case, do you think it's important that it is noted in the description section for the book, the various different crossovers of genres that the book goes into? I would love to hear your thoughts about this because apparently it's a big deal um, over on Goodreads. So thought-provoking stuff, people. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you have, then please give it a like and watch it there. Click the subscribe button if you haven't already um, so you don't miss out on new uploads to the channel as well. Anyway, that's it from me today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.